Hey there, we'll be taking a look at how to enable form security with Google reCAPTCHA on your website. reCAPTCHA is a free service from Google that helps to protect your website from spam and bot abuse. It does this while letting human users pass through with ease. If you've ever spent any time online, you've most likely had to use reCAPTCHA to verify you're not a bot. Before you set up reCAPTCHA, be sure you have already connected your live domain to your website. If you don't, then you will need to go through this process again once your domain has been connected. So here in the admin area, let's go to Settings, General Settings, and then we'll head into the Integrations tab. And if we scroll down just a bit, we'll see the reCAPTCHA section. Setting up reCAPTCHA is a very simple process that should only take a couple of minutes. However, Google does have a tendency to regularly update their user interface. If what you'll be seeing in this video doesn't match what you're seeing on your end from Google, be sure to click the Learn More link here. This will take you to our up-to-date written documentation, which includes screenshots and will walk you through exactly how to set up reCAPTCHA. Even if this video has become outdated when you're watching it, our documentation will always be kept current. Okay, so the first thing we'll want to do is head on over to google.com slash reCAPTCHA slash admin slash create and make sure that you're signed into your Google account that you use for your website or your business. So now that we're here, the first thing we want to do is enter a label name. In this case, we'll just enter the name of our website. Then for reCAPTCHA type, we'll select reCAPTCHA version 2 and the I'm not a robot checkbox option should automatically be selected. Next, we'll need to enter the domain name of our website, and you'll want to put the domain name in without www. at the beginning. So in this case, we'll be entering setupmywebsite.com since that's the domain that we have for our website. Next, we'll accept the reCAPTCHA terms of service, and if you want to receive alerts from Google if they happen to detect problems with your site, such as misconfigurations or an increase in suspicious traffic, you can leave this last option, send alerts to owners, checked. Otherwise, if you don't want to receive those alerts from Google, you can uncheck this box. And finally, we'll click Submit. We can now see that our website has been registered with reCAPTCHA, and we've been provided with a site key and a secret key. So we'll copy the site key, and we'll paste it into our website's admin area, where we're prompted for the site key. Next, we'll copy the secret key, and we'll paste the secret key again, where we're prompted to in the admin area. So we'll save these changes. And if we go to the contact page on our website and refresh it, you can see we now have the I'm not a robot reCAPTCHA checkbox on our contact form. We can click it to prove we're not a bot, and this will definitely help to limit some of the spam messages and form submissions you may receive on your website. If you have questions, please reach out at any time. Our team is always happy to help and support you.